episode 14 of the Strings and More podcast. My name is Jamie and this is Shanna. Hello, I am Shanna from Lamb Strings Yarn. Um, thank you for uh, coming to hang out with us today. Uh, this is a podcast about knitting and uh, do we even have spinning today? No, no spinning no, we're today. Spinning today. The spinning. Slacking. But we got yeah. some sewing now. Crochet. Some crochet. Um, all sorts of stuff. Um, so, yes, uh, Lamb Strings Yarn is my uh, hand-dyed yarn company. You can find me on social media as, uh, you can find me as Lamb Strings on Ravelry. And you can find me as Lamb Strings Yarn on Instagram, Twitter, and Periscope. And you can find my beautiful hand-dyed yarns, which, as always, I will show you uh, at lambstrings.etsy.com. You can go to my blog if you want, lambstrings.blogspot.com, where I have, um, some updates every once in a while when I can fit them in. I have updates and there. And for lovely colorways. Yeah, you, there. yes, because <laughs> you can't put that on Etsy, apparently. So if you'd like to see all my available um, colorways, you can go to the blog spot and um, look at them there. Jamie's in places. I'm in places, Also. Too. I'm going to go. <laughs> I feel like your list is like, whoa. I know. Oh, I'm like, sorry. You, you scratched me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hit her. I hit her before. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm like all the places, anywhere you could possibly be. Um, be. You know what though, the more you have, like the less likely you are to keep up with all of them on a regular basis, which is exactly what happens. So, um, all right. So yeah, you can find me on Ravelry. Um, I'm Jamie M and on Instagram, I'm Leslie Jean Nets. Uh, also going to be getting an Etsy shop together real soon. Yeah. So I'm almost, I almost have everything together. Yeah. Yay. I know. I know. She was shooting, you were shooting for like mid-September, which is like yeah, around like right now. now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm but you know. within the are. next two weeks. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. It's rough to get started. Yeah. You know, like you're like, there's, okay. There's so many things you need and you yeah. don't realize it until you're doing it. Until you're, you're like, doing I it. I need this and this and this and this. And it's, yep. Yep. That's exactly what happens, and you're like, okay, well, I'm, I'm do this, and then it says you can't. Of course, you can't do everything like that day. So you're like, oh, I'll do this tomorrow, mm-hmm. and I'll do this, blah blah blah. Yeah. I should shut this off. <laughs> um, so yeah. so yes, welcome to our podcast. If you are a returning viewer, then thank you so much for coming back. And if it's your first time, then welcome. Um, we always we have so much. We have so much. We always have yeah, so much. We have so much. Uh, so so you will you will love what we talk about. Yes. No choice. You exactly. <laughs> you have absolutely no choice. Once you're here, that's it. You can't even shut us off. Oh, I'm you gonna shut us off this first. Oh yeah, let's talk about that so I can my shut mom this got off. Me a new mug. It's simple, but I like it. Uh, I really like that mug. And it, it looks kind of like handmade. Put this here. Isn't that cool? Like I don't know. Can you tell it's yeah? You can wonky. tell it's wonky. Um, you can see the little, I know. I should have. I should have gotten it. a new mug. We were at Target like twice this week. I really like that one. Yeah, it's from Home Goods. It's hit no. or miss. Yeah, Home Goods. It hit or miss Home Goods. Us. My mom found it. She said it was for, uh, with a bunch of Thanksgiving stuff, so I don't know what creates it's about, but, you know, one said thanks, one said, I don't know, other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> one I said, honestly don't remember. One said giving. But one said create, and she thought of me. <laughs> one said turkey. I want one that says, like, turkey. Turkey. Just turkey. White mug. Mashed, turkey. mashed potatoes. Taters. Taters. Mash taters. <laughs> now we're going to insult all the southern people if I start No, doing but this. is taters precious? Come on, Lord of the Rings. Have you ever watched Lord I of the Rings? I don't. <gasps> Have you read Lord of the Rings? No. Read? Huh. Yeah. Well, for me, it was school reading at one point. Really? So, yeah, and um, we were, we're like grade. Lord of the Flies. No, I think I read it in sixth grade when I went to Brentwood. Oh, yeah, you guys had like cool uh, reading lists for school. Yeah. Although, you know what? I really never read the books that they assigned to us anyway. Like, <laughs> I, I did. coasted. I coasted. Usually. Yeah, I coasted on, like, I read a little bit here and there. Um, but I wasn't, like, a... I had no time to read. Well, I was, they're like, picking the books out painting. for you, you know? Yeah. I feel like maybe they should give people... Well, but then you wouldn't really be able to have a lesson about it, so... What are we talking about? I don't know. We're talking Whatever. about Whatever. Um, how was your... Wor- how was your week? How was um, your week, Jamie? It was pretty good. Um, it was... <laughs> My kids both went to school this week. Yeah, yeah, Jamie. The school has started. For both of you. So yeah, before so this, um, Anna was not in school. Yeah, Anna and had Caleb's never been to school. She's in Caleb. pre-K now for two and a half hours a day. Two and a half so. hours. 
She's good. She walked right in. <laughs> Jamie was like, because I, she sent us a picture of herself, like uh, like a selfie, like all happy, and she was like, "I'm free." <laughs> but you said all the other parents were crying, a or a lot, lot of the other parents a were lot crying. Were crying. Um, I guess I understand if it's your first kid, but Caleb was only three years old when he went to because he needed the speech therapy. Yeah. He walked right in too. I was like, Bye. I think my mom cried. Caleb I knew would, though, because he's always very been very sociable yeah. and, like, very outgoing. Independent. So it's, I knew he would see ya. Be, yeah, be like, okay, bye, Mom. Yeah. You know, Anna. You know, and she was unsure. You know, like, you could tell she was like, okay, I'm going to do this. But neither one of them are... I don't know. Overly like, she, clingy. Yeah. Like, I... I, I mean, she, like, she always needs to be by you. Like, she... She is kind of clingy, though, but, like, yeah, but she's not, not... not so clingy that she couldn't go into the freaking building, yeah. you know, like... Well, like, I... you know, we built it up, and it's... My son loves school. Yeah. So, she, you know, saw him loving it yeah. and talking about it, and... Yeah, so that's, that's We all nice. kind of built her up over the summer. Oh, it's gonna be fun, you're gonna make she, friends. Uh, she got, like, uh, new boots yeah, uh, that new were boots. really cool, actually, and, um, uh, she got... what It's, it's like, a, uh, what is that, Tsum Tsum? Oh, Zoom, Zoom, yeah. Zoom Zoom, uh, Zoom Zoom, backpack, backpack and like a Hello Kitty <laughs> lunchbox. So she was set. She had like stuff that she was comfortable yeah. with that was hers, and she picked it up. You know, that's really and, exciting. Yeah. So, but the teacher when I picked her up, um, well, the first day actually we were with them. It was like the orientation. Yeah. So that probably helped them along too. Is that the first day, like I was sitting there with her, which I don't mm. remember having when I was a kid, like. Like, my mother being there. For I the, can't remember I they just, preschool. like, they sent us off. Like... I just can't remember preschool at all. <laughs> I know. I know I know. the first day, there was no... No, because I, I always brought a stuffed animal with me um, every day. And every day in preschool, they would take it away from me. And oh, go this sit is down. why you remember it. You were traumatized. <laughs> they used to take it away from me every single day, and they give it back to me at the end of the day. But, like, I don't know. I needed my, my stuff, you know? Mm. Like, but I... My mother never came in with me. Like, we never had orientation. She I, she cried when I went. But I was like, later. I was so happy I had my stuff. I don't know, walk in the door, yank, they take it away from you. And, uh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember every day trying. Like, yeah. maybe, they, maybe they'll let me keep it today. My stuffed animals were um, uh, very precious to me. They still are. I actually have, I have a stuffed animal in my locker at work. Um, for when I have a really, really bad day and I need to hug it. Like, you know, there's some days where you're like, I could just cry. Like, you're having and such you a bad day. I do. I go in the break room and I open my locker and I hug my stuffed animal. Uh, my friend Stephanie at work got it for me. She was like, this is for bad days. And I was Aww. like, ah. So there's a little receipt, like, taped to its <laughs> neck so that nobody thinks I stole it. Choking the poor thing. Yeah, and uh, I hug it. And it makes me feel better. So... Screw you guys. <laughs> that makes me feel better. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so she's happy. She likes her school. And Caleb Good. is in a new school this year because he was going to one school to get the speech therapy. And he's done with that now. So they're kicking him back to his home school. Good. So, um, I mean, it's nice that they love it, though. You yeah. know? Like, he was in special ed last year for the speech therapy. And yeah. now he's in a regular classroom. So I was a bit stressed out about that, like, how's it going to be, is he going to be okay, you know, he's fine, he loves it, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it was good. good, that's really happy. good, <laughs> so it was a good week, and yeah, I had two hours to myself every day, and I come home, sit there for a few minutes, like, what the hell am I going to do, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's why <laughs> a lot of parents cry, I'm just clean, clean what, your house is immaculate, it's not immaculate, oh, it's, whatever, I would be like, knitting, <laughs> I don't care, your dishes aren't going to get done, I'm well, knitting, then, yeah, the next day I knit, and yeah, I've got an FO because of it. <laughs> Jamie's going to have a lot, a lot of stuff, like, done and, and, like, a lot of whips. I'm, like, really excited. No pressure. No pressure. But she's going to have a lot. She's going to have a lot. Um, so how about you? So how yeah. was your week? Uh, the shop was really busy this week, so I was doing an excessive amount of dyeing. Uh, a lot yeah, of because she was on the grocery I girls. was. Um, well, I wasn't, yard. but my no, yarn yeah, was. Not, not <laughs> my yarn. Yeah, I was in we Alberta. Didn't ship her to, yeah, I was going to say, we um, didn't ship her to Canada. Yeah, I sent, uh, <laughs> I sent the Jody and Tracy from the grocery girls some yarn um, for them to keep and for one uh, to give away for whatever prize, you know, whatever cow or something prizes they wanted to do. And um, they showed it. They showed it, and... Um, it got good reviews, and I got busy. <laughs> yeah. Really, really busy, which is awesome. Um, but I, I didn't get a lot of knitting done this week, which I did miss. So. I know, Shame. I know. I'm not complaining. 
don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I'm very happy to have a business. Um, so thank you, Jody and Tracy. And thank you to everybody who messaged me and said that they love the yarn. And that was really, really nice. It was a good, um, it was good motivation. So it's always nice to, but I didn't get a lot of knitting done. They did have some stuff. I got a haircut this week. Um, not that you guys can tell. I can see it. But like, <laughs> look at my layers are short again. She Which I a hair roll in front of her and she's like, my hair is so short. I'm like, what? I know. Where? I know. Well, you know what? I'm like, they usually cover my boobies so much more. <laughs> like, like, it was like down to here. Oh, your hair's always been so I long. Know. I'll give it a week before I'm like, I need you to cut it. <laughs> um, but that was really it. I saw, I rented, um, uh, poor Seth had to sit through it too. I rented the Neon Demon. Did we talk about this? Yeah. Well, I don't talk yeah, to, well, I talked to Jamie about it. Um, I don't know if you guys don't know, it was like, a, it's an independent film about like the life of a model, like a girl who goes to the big city to become a model and, and um, what happens to her. And it turns out to be like a psychological like horror film. Um, it was the weirdest effing film mm -hmm. um, and I had to watch it twice because it was like it was good yeah, like the message like was good kind of... well the ending was so like the ending was pretty fabulous and um after you see the ending you're like well I have to watch the whole thing again mm -hmm. um it was weird it was so weird did you ever see the usual so suspects good. yes oh, okay yes oh, that, actually, that was something like saw once that. you saw the ending you it's like holy crap yeah, and then well, you kind of want to go back and watch the whole yep. thing yeah um Let's talk about knitting. Okay. Um, uh, how long was about? that? 15 minutes of us just bull crapping. Well, probably like five minutes of me trying to introduce oh, ourselves. Yeah, it took Jamie like uh, four times. <laughs> I kept messing up. I couldn't speak for whatever. Sisters um, and more. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll all, talk. it'll all be I in messed the up the word hello. <laughs> yeah, how do you mess up hello? She did. I she did. I, I couldn't talk. Uh, Jamie had a long week. Um, <laughs> well... I don't know. So, um, so actually we have two things. Let's talk about, um, before we go into our normal stuff, um, last week we forgot at the beginning of the episode, so we threw it in at the end of the episode, that Jamie's hat pattern uh, has been released. So it was part of the title from last week's episode, but if, um, if you weren't able to watch the whole thing, it was like an hour and 20 minutes in. Um, Jamie's hat. I think it's so pretty. Yeah. Jamie's hat, which uh, was I have my hair in a weird thing named Buttermello. Oh look, this yarn is like it's like your very own elf hat. Um, so yeah, Jamie's hat pattern has finally been released. So you can find this one on Ravelry. Um, it's paid for pattern. It's got a little bit of a slouch. It's a slouch, yeah, and uh, with optional pom pom, which I absolutely I love. Um, I love the every time I, I put on something well. that you make, I want whatever color you made it in. <laughs> And I'm not a yellow person. I've been told that That's yellow nice is yellow disgusting. Though. You look good me. in that yellow. This is discontinued, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, but... So, yes, we've talked about this hat um, quite a few times. Um, yeah, you all, if you've watched If you you've watched this, you've it. seen it a few times. So, if you are interested, and you should be, um, go on down to Ravelry. Go to Jamie's um, Ravelry store, and you can purchase it there. So... We're all really excited. It's your very first <laughs> My very first pattern. Just let me know what you all think. Well, very first pattern that she's written. And, Don't and be shy. If you have any comments about it, let me know. <laughs> no, all the comments are going to be like, I love it. Ah! I loved it. I, I forgot mine again. And I wore it yesterday. I wore it to get my hair cut because my hair looked awful. And I was like, I'm not going to wash. Who, do you guys wash your hair before you go get your hair done? I don't. My mom always they does my hair. So. Oh, well. I know it. I, I feel like it's kind of gross, like to not wash your hair, but like those girls are gonna wash it for you. So I wore a hat to disguise. All right, let me fix what I said. My mom always does my hair because she's a hairdresser. <laughs> it's just like it sounds like a from my We're okay, Ma, cut it. Yeah, I know. Cut it off. Um, Although she lets me cut her hair because she's crazy. I, um. sh I should <laughs> let your mom cut my hair. I should let your mom color my hair, yeah. like with streaks and stuff. Cause look at how nice. There's well, it's fading side. now. No, but it looks good. It's all. I'm getting washed. The blonde out. is coming back out. Getting washed out. See it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, make sure you go down there and get that hat pattern. And um, when you are making it and posting it on Instagram and stuff, um, oh, yeah, make sure you me. like tagging, <laughs> tagging uh, Jamie or you know tag strings and more or whatever. So whatever. We can see it. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely want to see it. Um. 
Shall okay. We talk about the middle long. Let's talk about the middle long. Okay. Yes. You go first. Oh, are we talking about our things, or are we just going to talk about... Oh, no, well, we should talk about the middle long. You talk about the middle long. <laughs> All right, so we are hosting a middle long for the month of September. Yes. Um, it began on September 1st, and we'll be ending it on September... 30th. 30th, 30th. Yeah, the 30th. Because <laughs> I should know those things. So, um, yeah. Yeah, the 30th. The rules are um, that you could post as many mints as you want, as many as you can finish between now and the 30th. Yes. Com- a completed pair. As many entries as you want. Um, you have to challenge yourself. So no just plain stuck in it stitch mitts. They've got to have color work or cables, something that's not just stuck in it stitch. Unless you only crochet and it's your first time knitting. In which case, that would be okay. There must be proof. <laughs> yes. If we go onto your Instagram so and there's strict. all knit sweaters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we will be like telling you off. <laughs> or whatever. We won't. Um, so yeah, you can pick any mitts that you want. This is your choice because there are so many mitts. Yeah. Any mitts. any mittens, any yarn, um, any weight yarn. Yeah. Um, they, they could actually even be gloves. If you want fingers. Anything you want. Fingers. Finger, oh yeah, we keep saying fingerless because I think we're both, we're both we're knitting both fingerless, fingerless mitts. Ones, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a great opportunity for you guys to bang out a couple of Christmas presents for people or for you, like I'm a selfish knitter, so I'm like, mm, yeah. So... <laughs> And, of course, you can use any weight yarn that you want. Jamie and I both pick sock. Yep. Because that's what we do. Yeah. And, and then we're like, we're going to do, like, three pairs of mitts. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get one pair of mitts done for this knit along. And then yeah, I'm just going to start the other ones because I want them. So, anyway, we both have hose. Oh, also, real quick before oh. the hose, there will be a prize. Oh, we yeah. We will draw um, a winner with the random number generator. Yeah. We will have one prize that we will give away, and we will do that the last day of September. Yes, <laughs> and um, we have a Strings and More Ravelry group, which we are encouraging you to go down and join and participate in discussions and FOs and all sorts of threads. We have one thread in there for the middle long that is chatter, um, and we have one thread that is FOs only. And there are no quite chatter. a few in there already. There are, people, people are done. I'm like... You know, they're pumping out the mitts real they're quick. They're pumping them out. So, in order to be considered for a prize or to be put in the random number generator, we are asking that you post in the FO thread. Um, just a picture of your finished mitts. Just a picture of your finished mitts. You, um, if you'd like, you can put yarn in pattern, um, but that's a not yeah. that's a no chatter um, thread because, as as we have um, discovered in the past, <laughs> um, you can't just be commenting all over uh, those threads yeah. when you're using a random number generator because. We always win. I didn't weave any of my ends. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, well. Anyway, we both have one finished Yay. fingerless mitt. <laughs> you looked at it funny. You were like, <laughs> I, could, I couldn't remember what it was called. I was like, <laughs> I one finished mitt. sneaker. <laughs> um, mine looks yeah. like a, <laughs> mine looks like super sad. We should put them on. Yeah, we should. I'm really excited. Right. I'm going to stay on mine. I'm doing um, A Time to Reap by Melissa Shashwari. Yes, which I'm going to do next. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is, okay, it tells me to bind on with the German twist. To cast on? Cast on. To cast yeah, on, yeah. Bind on. You did. did say that? <laughs> cast on with the German twist, um, cast on, and it's supposed to be stretchier, and I feel like it's not. So... It's weird. You know what? I'm it's hoping weird. hoping it locks like, out bigger because it's a bit tight. I tried it on. Like I, I my wrists your your are arms very are a little small. skinnier than mine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you have very small yeah. We both have very small arms. Um and I tried I them mean, on it's and not it got terribly tight, but it, it's a little like And like I think they're stuck. supposed to be bunchy, which is fine, but but it shouldn't be bunchy like I still yeah, it shouldn't be bunchy because it doesn't fit. Right. Yeah. Right. Um I did do the small, but I mean I have small hands, so I yeah. know it. I'm really excited to do those mitts, though. I should test my gauge. I didn't test the gauge. I could have been knitting small. I don't know. She never tests her gauge. I know. Nope. Those are beautiful, and I, and... This is in Shanna's yarn. This is my yarn. I feel like it's getting, like, um... It's getting washed out a little bit. It's darker than this. It's darker than that, but that's okay. (laughs) Um... It's, uh... This is the, uh... Yeah, you don't even... Sadie Sock. It's a Sadie Sock, uh, Sadie which is sock. a single-ply sock yarn, um, 400 yards of skein, and that is the Cassiopeia colorway, 
which, which oh knits God. up really nice. I was really it's excited like for you to knit this. I was like, I can't wait to see it, like, knit in, like, one fabric. You know, when I black like it, this will be baggier like it's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. And hopefully this grows a little bit. You know what? And I'll just pin it out. Like, I'll stretch it when I pin it out. <sighs> and hopefully it'll be. I feel like, like, if you really, I think, we, and I said this to you, if you really needed to, you can undo your cast on and then just pick it up and, and cast off a stretchy bind off. But it's such a huge pain to, like, I think I'll block it, it. I'll block it first. See, see what happens. See what happens. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I could also just wear it up a little more, and yeah. that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, it's away pretty. Arm. It's really, really pretty. But I'm, I'm like, and I feel bad because I'm like, I'm gonna knit those, and I'm like, I'm glad that you knit them first, so that I know that the yeah. that the cast on is like. I mean, maybe, maybe I was just casting on tight because it was my first time doing it. But they're it. very pretty. So. So there's like a lace the, detail uh, there. Oh, it's kind of hard to see on my fingers. Oops. I'm pulling the wrong side. Right there, there, there it is. Like a zigzag lace, and it's on the um the side it's on too. This too. Yeah. I don't know. I really like those knits. I like them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It, and it was quick because it's mostly stockinette except for the ends, yeah. which has a little lace border. I know mine's got. I have to be like, oh, you all this stuff, and then I'm like, I picked one the rib. You got some lace detail in there, but then there's a lot of stocking nets, so. You know. Yours has color work. Whatever. Uh yeah, mine does have color work too. Um, so I am I am knitting. The River Mitts by Katie Rempe. And I'm using uh, sock yarn. I'm using the uh, Knit Picks Capretta for the black, uh, which is the outside. And I'm using my um, Tralala sock yarn for um, the inside in the Sexy Librarian colorway. So these are, um, these are interesting because they don't have a thumb gusset. They're designed without a thumb gusset. So basically it's a double layer. And I'm going to pull the inside. When you knit the inside, you only knit like a little thumb hole. But when you wear them, the second layer covers them. So it's really kind of cool. It's just, I think my only issue with these is when I go to wear them, I don't know where the hole is. <laughs> like I can't see where the hole is. Um, but they look like that when they're on. Cool. They look really cool, right? So... You can pull the second layer down. I've, I've seen a lot of people pull the second layer down, but then you kind of see that, like, seam edge, right? So you can wear them like that, too. Um, and you could do them in one color. It doesn't have to be two colors. I just, I had this leftover color, and I really wanted to use it. But they're cool. Yeah, I really right? like them. That's not bad. And they're warm, because they're double layer, and there's, like, yeah. the cashmere in the Capretta. Um, so, yeah, so I, I, I mean, I'm like almost, I mean, here, I started like. You cast them already. I, I cast, cast it on, on my second. If I, if I don't cast on that kind of thing right away, I'll never cast it on. So, um, I have that. <laughs> I'm working with that. Oh, boy. I look like Hitler. Oh, my God. Almost yeah. done. <laughs> I'm working on uh, my Chiagu. And I did this the last time. I totally forget what size these are. I think they're threes. U.S. size three um, in Magic Loop Method. My circular knitting needles. And I love them. This is my only knitting in the round method that I use. I only do the two circs. And I get ladders when I do that. <laughs> and I, I, like, this is the only thing that I love. A lot of people Same. do the Magic Loop. I don't know. Um, I, you know. I tried starting off with double pointed needles and Shannon was sitting next to me as I was doing it and I was cursing at those poor little needles. Yeah, <laughs> like, I've seen people use two double pointed needles. One in the front, one in the back for, like, socks and stuff like that. How do you not get ladders? I don't know. Because you can't I was pull tight. getting horrible ladders. Yes. And oh, also, it was so fiddly. I, I was just, I was done. <laughs> I know. I, I was, like, searched she, through my actually needles for one. took ones. some photos of Jamie's face while she was trying to do it, and she it looked, like, so uncomfortable. She was like, <laughs> I can't describe your face. You were like, <laughs> the pictures that I got were really funny. They were really, really funny. Um, so, yeah, so we are almost done, guys, with one pair of mitts. So, yeah. hopefully... <laughs> halfway um, there. And it's halfway through the month. What's today's date? The 11th? It's the, the 11th. 11th. So, I don't think that we're going to box this. I think that we're going to finish. We're going to finish. Knock on wood. <laughs> it's our own yeah. knit along. We better Whatever. finish. <laughs> I know, right? Do you know how many podcasts I watch they don't finish their mitts? Like, for their own knit-alongs or in the mitts? Yeah. Uh, they don't objects. finish their objects for their own knit-alongs. It happens. For shame. For sh I mean, really, for shame. But, like, it happens. It happens. It yeah. totally happens. So. So keep, um, 
Keep posting your progress and your FOs and stuff on Instagram and hashtag. I'm going to put the hashtag at the bottom. It's hashtag. Tag us. We love yeah, to see tag you. us. Um, thank you. Yes, yep. tag us. Um, S M M. No, S M. Middle long. It's hard. I had put um, a couple of episodes ago uh, the hashtag. I put S and with the ampersand and middle long. Uh, I had no idea that you can't tag. Like the tag won't come up if you use um, like symbols. <laughs> so please don't tag it like that. My mistake. So it's S M middle long. I feel like the light's really harsh. It is. It's very harsh on me. But we're gonna we're gonna blow right past that because right. yeah, it's right. fine. You want to do FOs? Yeah, I have an old one. <laughs> this is my favorite one so far. <laughs> yeah, FOs. It's time for FOs. Um, I came over the house last night. Uh, we hung out with Jamie and her uh, her husband last night, and she, like, threw this FO, like, in my face. And I was like, uh, you're going to make me one, right? <laughs> I knit in, like, one hour. <laughs> Got an FO. La Pranda! The shrimp! <laughs> It's for Ashley Dorian Medwig. And it's, it's a free pattern. Uh, I was like, I want one of these. Look how cute. How cute is that? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> this is the animal shirt. that I can hug. And it was, there's his little tail. See? He's so cute. His little tail. <laughs> <laughs> La Pranda. I love it. What is it called? La Pranda. La Pranda. La Pranda. Because uh, it's a prawn. The shrimp. Yeah. yeah it's a prawn. It's a shrimp. <laughs> he's, so, um, he's so cute. Does she have more free ones? Free patterns? You know, I don't know. I didn't, um, oh, I'll have to look. I didn't go look. Because I really think... Yeah, if she has more like this... Uh, yes. Who yes. would think, oh, I'm going to make a shrimp stuffed animal today? <laughs> You. Well, yeah. You. Well, because I saw the pattern, I was like, that's awesome. I want a little shrimp. <laughs> um, there's another designer, Hansi Sai, or C, and she does, uh, like, stuff like that, like, but they're, and they're like, insanely detailed, like, praying mantises. And oh, gee, yeah. All sorts that's, of, like, really weird stuff. an art form. It really there. is. That's... And, like, I've seen, um, her book. We had it at, at the store at AC Moore, and I kept saying I was going to buy it, and then I'm like, when am I ever really going to sit and, like, knit? A praying mantis. But that's really cute. I would totally do that. I want like 30 of those. And then you hang them all from the ceiling. You could totally hang it from like the Christmas tree. <laughs> make it a Christmas ornament. Can you make little Christmas shrimps? Just put a little hat on it. Christmas shrimps. Make a little Santa Claus hat Oh, uh, it'll be so Long Island. <laughs> Our like seafood Christmas right? tree. Mm -hmm. Christmas yeah, tree. it'll be so Long Island. We already um, have a ketchup package hanging on our Christmas tree, so. Why? Because <laughs> <I'm> stupid. Because... <laughs> For right. Christmas one year, Ron thought he was being funny. We had all these boxes, so he <laughs> took the little ketchup package and put it in a box, wrapped it up, put it in another box, wrapped it up, put it in another box, wrapped Why? it up, just to fool with me. All right. <laughs> Seth? But we do things like that, so. Seth wraps presents like that, um, like really, really special ones, and he'll give me like this. I always know because he gives me this giant box, and I'm like, and it's like, like 300 boxes until you get to the thing that's this big. Yeah. He thinks it's the funniest thing in the whole world. He's done it to me a few times, and I hate it. By the time I get to the present, I'm like, I don't want the present. Like, <laughs> I'm, I've lost interest. Like, Christmas is over. What you do is you <laughs> save like, up the boxes, now. and you do that with every single one of his presents. No, it takes so long. It takes so long. It's a lot of wrapping. I right hate there. that. By the time I get to the third box and there's nothing in it, I'm like... I don't want it. Whatever it is, it can't be that important. <laughs> it can't be that important. Poor Seth. And I love it. it and under Gage, shrimp. it says, um, what does it say? Oh, Gage isn't important. It's a shrimp, not a sweater. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. a shrimp, not a sweater. And that's, um, that's my yarn. It's that's my yarn. yarn. And it yep. self stripes when you make a shrimp. This is this one is the um, Utopia sock. Yeah, and yeah, when you make a shrimp, it stripes. <laughs> engine number nine colorway that came out really good. Thanks, guys. Aww. Yeah, she's cute. Um, so does eyes on. They just is that your only F O? No. Oh. But you go next. All right. Well, I have an F O that's old. It's from last Christmas. Um, but when I made it, I was like, oh, I'm gonna write this pattern, and it's gonna be free, and blah blah blah, and this and that. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm a pirate. I want one. I don't know where to put him. Wherever he stays. There we go. Yes, he's gonna fall up. <laughs> um. So yeah. So I was said I was gonna write the pattern last year, and I was gonna give it away for free because it is stupid easy. That's Jamie. Those are Jamie's <laughs> quote. Stupid easy. Um. So I figured, yeah, why don't I just do it this year? So. I made a very chunky knit hat last year, uh, and I think I did this in, this is in the Bernat Roving, but you can get it at any craft store. It's mostly acrylic. It's got some wool in there, um, but it's a single ply fat roving, and basically what I did was I cast it on, I can just tell you, really, I cast it on like 26 stitches in a one by one rib for a little while. And then I did stocking net and then one row of garter and stocking net one row of garter. And I did it in the, it's not in the round. So I cast it on 26 stitches and I knit double the size. Then I folded it over and seamed up the sides there. Right? And then I made some extra giant crazy pom-poms and I stuck them on the corners because that's the kind of hat that I like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I made one for my niece, um, who was like 14 mm -hmm. last year, and she like loved it. She, she was like, this is the coolest the hat. I was, I was like, I'm going to make it, and I'm like, you don't have to wear it. It's a little silly, but also kind of cool. She was like, I'm wearing this every day. Yeah, let's she her. Every loved time it. she came here, she had that hat on. She had the hat on. Yeah. So, yeah, and I'm going to write it up. I'm going to put it on my blog. It's going to be for it is the easiest stupid thing ever. I, actually, you could do anything you want. I started making another one that was like cables with the same amount of stitches um, you know, you can make it small, you can make it whatever. What I did was I knit to however long I wanted it. I think it was like eight inches. And then, um, I put a marker and then I just knit another eight inches. Until it folds it's over just right folded right? over and seamed. That's it. That's it. It's easy, easy, easy. Super quick gifts for people, for kids, right? I'm not a kid, but I wear this. <laughs> I wear this, as well as my, I'm um, wearing a kid's t-shirt today, so is Jamie. Yep. We're kids today. We're, We're having kids. a kid's day. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my finished object from like a year ago. I'm cheating, but I don't care. Uh, winter is coming, and these are going to be so cool. I'm making another one. Now, I'm going to even wear it for a little while. F.O. Coming. I'll put it on. Uh, I'll put it on Instagram when um, the pattern is written and ready to be viewed on my blog. You and I can put it on Ravelry. Oh, well, maybe I'll put it. I'll put it on Ravelry and I'll have a link to my blog, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it that way. Either way, uh, it'll be just here. It's gonna so be a chunky knit hat. <laughs> but I'm excited. Fo. <laughs> it's not cheating. Oh. Don't care. Jamie's got another FO. Yeah, well, it's kind of, it's an almost FO. Oh, it's so that's close. right. So close to being done. That's right. But it's my unicorn. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, Huge. It, it got big. <laughs> With the little button joints. Little, yeah, little button. So it's like, it's like, woo. Are these really joints? Oh, no, you sewed it in. I sewed it in. Okay. Yeah, but they move. But they move, yeah. So I've got to finish his mane. Yeah. That's what I need to do. So this is for um, the... Yarngasm slash Wolf and Shave podcast, uh, Unicorn Along. Unicorn Along. Yeah, hosted by Kristen and Magdalena. Wow. She's white. It, like, She's really... white, yeah. Um, there we go. <laughs> which is so awesome. Again, I keep saying, like, how cool is it? That light. It's that light. My is daughter the, is was freaking out as year. I was sewing it together. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's big. And her, yeah. her daughter is uh, a little, teensy. Yeah, a little peanut. A uh, little, well, yeah. So it's legs move so you can position it however you want. It can sit like this. Yeah. Ooh. It's so cute. Yeah. I really, really love that. I love it's that it's huge. Wobbly. I That's don't think right. I, I think when you put the main good. in, though, like you can tighten it over here if you yeah. wanted to. You don't even have to, but you, you could. I love her. <laughs> What's her name? Well, the pattern is um, Clop and Allie, so technically Allie, but Anna hasn't given her a name yet. What is, Cl isn't Clop and Alley the hobby horse? Not a hobby horse. Isn't the Clop and Alley like a actual toy? I don't know, maybe. I think it is. Because when I was searching for it, um, to put actual the picture toys up, came up, actual toys came up. Um, Could be. But yeah. Now you got to give her a different name. <laughs> Anna will name it. It'll be something different. But this is by Frank She's going to be like, his name is Horsey. Horsey. Yeah. 
Yeah. Clop and Alley by Fran This Warren. will go all the way down. Yeah. All the way down the neck. We were saying, like, he's so emo right now. Or she's so emo. With, like, her hair in her face. Like, uh... The emo corn. The emo corn. Yeah. She's mad at life. She... <laughs> <laughs> She's mad at her parents. Yeah. So, um, I just used, um, this is, oh, Bernat Super Saver yeah. for the body. Um, then I did Vana's Choice, is the purple on the hooves. Um, I put some gold metallic thread in with the white for the horn. Yeah. And then this is one of my colorways. It's just Change rainbow. In my hand dyed yarn. Yeah. So next week I'll show her again with a full mane. Yeah. So technically she's a finished object, but not really. I think Jamie was like really trying to fish for a finished object this week. Uh, I was really trying to finish her before this. Yeah. But it was just taking so long to do the mane. I was like, uh, it's not going to get done. Um, oh, no. I neglected my unicorn again this year. Uh, this year. Shame. This week. This week. Yeah. Well, you know, I was really trying to finish my knit and I was... Besides all the other stuff that was going on, I was really, really trying to finish that shawl, and mm -hmm. it didn't happen. Because um, I kept saying, like, maybe I'll have to finish shawl this week, and blah, 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 and I wanted off the needles now. Um, mm -hmm. Because I wanted to start a sweater. So uh, that didn't happen. So I devoted a lot of my time to those things, and I forgot my unicorn. But um, this is the body of my unicorn. It's not even stuffed yet. Um, I'm working with Debbie Bliss Lolly, which is a cotton and something else. You keep saying it along. Polyester. It was a knit along, but crocheted objects are okay. Yeah, so. it was a unicorn along. <laughs> yeah, right? We keep saying knit along. along. Yeah, just a unicorn along. So, um, I have to finish this too because I'm like gathering all these whips, right? Dang. Anyway, the, the face is going to be clay. Um, I already have the horn and the ears knit. Um, so I just have to do like the little legs, stuff it, put the face on it, and that's it. So... I always feel so uncomfortable showing things I haven't worked on. That's why I usually leave them. If I haven't done any made any day. progress, I just say I know I, I should have. On it. I should have just been like, I'll show it next week. But I didn't show it one week already, so I might as well. <laughs> I think that's it for FOs. Yeah. Well, okay. So technically, those are FOs. You want me to show them now? I do. Right. We're not gonna we're not gonna do like different segments this week. So Jamie did finish a couple of things that are not knit or crocheted, but Jamie is sewing. For she's those of sewing. you who don't know, she's sewing now. Yay! It's fun. Cause she likes. I have to things. do a little bit of everything. Yeah. So Jamie finished two things this week. It, the first one is an oopsie, though. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but this is the one bag. How cool! Uh, it's an oopsie because I forgot the handle. Do you really need the handle, though? No, but you know, it makes it easier to grab. It does make it easier to grab, grab, but so I know. It's a little Halloween-y one with little kitties. So it'll be living here. <laughs> <laughs> so I put a handle on it. But see how cute. And I've been contrasting the what do you call the zips? The, the zipper uh what what do you call that? The zipper ends? I don't know. The fabric over the zippers. I don't know what top. any of it's called. I don't know what any of it's called either. But yeah, so what does the inside look like? Is it the polka dot fabric? Polka dot fabric. Yeah. And she's got pockets in there and stuff. Can you see the pocket? It's got pocket. It's got pocket. <laughs> pocket. So that was um, my first sewing project this week, and yeah. it was a oh, oops. The handle. Thing. I, she showed me a picture, and I was like, I love it. And she's like, oh, I forgot the handle. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so? I mean, some of them, I feel like you could just throw them in the bag. Like a Notions, it could be like a giant Notions pouch. It could hold all of my... Double pointed needles that I don't use. Yeah. Why I not? like the fabric. But I do too. I really, really like the fabric. This um, this one, I got everything right. <laughs> like Yay. One. Yeah. <laughs> For the win. For the win. I really, really, really love that fabric. Like a it's lot. It's got the handle. Yeah. I've got little taggies. Yeah, Jamie's got tags now. This is Leslie Jean Nets. Yeah. Yeah, up here, the contrast. And you can see it on that one. Yeah. She's taking the fabric from the main portion of the bag and using it to um, close up the zippers yeah. which some on the top. Which that. I, don't some people don't. Cool. I, don't know what's I think it's really cute. I think it's a good idea. So 
so it's yeah the bag's getting washed out of it there, it's all right like it's it looks good oh, there we go if i if i angle it like this yeah actually it looks like it's part of your shirt <laughs> it's funny um the dinosaurs have flowers the dinosaurs have flowers but so are these gonna be in your shop you think yeah, probably put a few every, like now little, every now and then. Every now and then. Every now and then. Yeah. I think everything's going to be, like, every now and then. Like, I've already said it before, I'm not going to be, like, super serious like Shanna and, like, people like Lauren from Lolo Did It and, uh, Bull and Vine, you know? Yeah, um, Like, those are people, like, they, that's what they're passionate about, that's what they want to do. I just want to have a little bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you are. I have to go back to school. <laughs> well, but you know what, Jamie? It's, Making like, more than just having school. fun, like... You're good at it, oh, so and people are liking your stuff. Yeah, they are, which is really nice. Yeah, thank you. So but I, I'm just, I like it, so I'm gonna do it. It's for out there, and you never know. You never know what something's gonna turn into. Yeah, you know, like when I started dyeing the yarn, I was like, okay, I'll probably sell a couple of things here and there. I was still working full time um, at my day job, and um, I wanted extra money, and like. I mean, who doesn't want extra money? I mean, it wasn't just like, I want extra money. I genuinely enjoyed doing it. Um, so I figured, when you go to art school, you're taught to, like, create your own jobs. Yeah. You know, and I really wanted to do that. And I figured if it works, then great. I really enjoy it. And if it doesn't work, then it'll At be something tried. I tried yeah. and, and whatever. And it kind of just, I loved it so much. I wasn't making a lot of money to begin with, and I was just doing it a lot anyway. But... I didn't want to work full time at this job that I was at. I did not like it, and I needed to kind of push myself out of there. So I figured I went crazy <laughs> dyeing the yarn, and you know it's working out. So you know, knock on wood. We'll see. And I really, really, really enjoy it. It is fun creating yeah. things. When you like when the you dyeing the yarn and making new colors. Yeah. It's like, I love it. And you know we are we went to art school, so it's really like we truly enjoy doing it because yeah. it's like We're painting. Creative I feel like I'm painting anyway. again. Yeah. You know. It is so, and it's it's great to have your own business. I think like yeah. there's something about you're working for yourself. You're working it's, for yourself, yeah. and and you only have yourself to answer to. Yeah, and, and you love it. You do it because you love it. So. You're not doing something you hate all day. That was horrible. Yeah. Anyway, wah wah. <laughs> wah wah. Wah wah. You know. I'm no wah wah no more. Now you're dying yarn. Now place. I'm dying yarn. Oh. It's got one pocket. So any that pockets. I put up on the shop, they're all going to have one pocket on the inside. It's a decent sized pocket. It's huge. <laughs> it's a decent sized pocket. It's huge. <laughs> and these are, oh, I took the measurements and now I'm going to forget. They're, um. Do you have a thing? One of us should, right? We have all these yarn supplies here. I have six bags in front of me. One of them has to have a tape measure. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> we're I'm like, we're sitting way too close together. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is hitting and scratching Jamie. It's about 11 inches wide at the top. Which is big. And sitting flat, it's 8 inches tall. So it's, it's like a piece of paper. Like, how? It's the flat bottom. About 4 inches for the, the bottom. For the bottom, yeah. So a decent sized part. bag, you guys. Yeah. So when Janie opens her store, and we're going to keep you posted, um, you know. Yeah, I'll have it on my to, Instagram. Yeah. If you follow my Instagram, um, we'll let you know on the podcast. Okay. Instagram is the easiest way to get updates for um, what's going on with Jamie. Yeah. And, like, my shop updates, usually what I'll do is I'll post, like, uh, in the morning. I'll post something that says I'm having a shop update at, like, 6 or 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Eastern. Time. <laughs> um, a few people have been like, whoops. <laughs> I'm like, it's, we're in New York, so if you're on the other side of the country, make sure you're putting your uh, alarms on the correct time so that you can be there for that kind of stuff. Um, so that is the easiest way to get notifications for anything because what happens is I'll post it on Instagram and then I'll just share it to everything else. Um, but, yeah. I feel like everyone does it on Instagram. All the yarn dyers, it's they the, always It's the post, best way. Yeah, their shop updates. I have to show what I got. Oh. Yeah. If you're, um, so make sure you're following us and every, anybody else who is a yarn dyer or shop, you know, owner or anything. Yeah, even like um, Instagram. bag people like Molly Klein and yes. you so-and-so. Yes. It's, Instagram is just lovely. Instagram is the way <laughs> to go. Know. And <laughs> if you're, if you have a large feed and you're finding that you're not like following up on the, the feeds aren't coming quick enough for you, just search us. You know, you can go right to the last thing that we posted. So, um, do it. Do it! You have to follow us on Instagram. 
Are we in whips? We are. Okay. All right. That was our, all our FOs for the week. Even though we said we weren't busy, apparently, uh, there was at least <laughs> we, we got so. some stuff done. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so whips. Whips, whips, whips. How many whips do you have? I have three, but I showed the unicorn sort of, which didn't really even count. Um, yeah, one of my whips was the gloves, which we showed right in the beginning. Yes. So I have That's one. That's right. I have two then. Okay, you go first then. Okay. This is the last time I want to show this as a whip. <laughs> the next time I show this, it needs to be an F.O. Because I want to wear it. <laughs> I'm like ready to wear it. And this happened the last time. I, I feel like this shawl is just a repeat performance of the shawl that I had before it. Which, um, it is like an exact replica of the experience that I had. Because I messed up a row and I had to rip it back, sort of, and do it. And now... I'm showing it to you again, and I'm like, I have, like, three more rows, and it's done. It's huge. It's enormous. And it's all, it's bunched up on these needles. It, these are 50-inch needles, or 50-inch cable lace needles. And it's huge. This is Speckle Tonic by Mary Ann Mace. It's, it's curling on the bottom. And it's curling on the bottom, so there. there you go. That's it. I, I Like, a couple more rows, you guys, and I'm binding off on it. Thank God. I want to wear it. I need to put the paper behind it so you can see. Oh, you can't even, you you can't can't even really see. Tell. The black is lace. Um, like, there's lace details in there. You can't even see them. There we sort go. Of. There you go. <laughs> I need this blocked. I need this on my neck because I love it. I absolutely love it. And the colors are showing up pretty true. Uh, maybe a little bit darker than what they're showing up. So I'm working with um, my, which yarn is this? Um, <laughs> I think it's the Utopia Sock in the Ode to Virginia colorway. I love this. I'm boring, Jamie. That's okay. Um, and the black is Dream and Color Smooshy in Black Parade. I'm really afraid that, that it's going to come off the needles. Yeah, you've got plenty of room on this side. I've got plenty of room on this side. But yeah, holy Toledo, this thing is enormous. It's huge. And I have not counted my stitches. I think I said the last time that um, I had like way too many stitches on the needle. Um, I'm not convinced that I still don't have way too many stitches on my needles. But um, I'm so excited. It's almost done. And the bottom's going to be like kind of scalloped um, chevron uh, lace detail. And it's pretty. I'm not loving the way she cut my hair. <laughs> I'm going to cut it myself. I think, you know what, I switched to a new mousse, like a new volumizing mousse, and I hate it. So it's killing me. But, whatever. <laughs> That's not about knitting. I'm super, super excited. Super excited. And kind of nervous. I was saying last week that um, this is a very elegant, like, shawl to begin with, like the lace and everything is very elegant, and I chose to do it <laughs> in crazy, colors. crazy speckled hot pink and black stripes. So, I don't know, I think it's going to look cool. Like, the, it kind of, like, makes it more modern looking, I feel like. The original was done in, um, I just tangled myself in the yeah, whole thing. you're old. The original is like light blue with some navy and like it looks very, it looks very elegant. Mine's like a little crazy. So I'm having like this affair with crazy colors. You are. <laughs> right? So that's almost done. Next week, next week it's going to be an F.O. because I need these needles first of all. And second, I am like dying. I want to wear it. It's fall. It's chilly out. I'm well, dying to some wear days it. it's chilly. I'm out. prepared to wear it and sweat at this point. Like, I don't care. Um, I really, really love it. So, that's exciting. And I think, I, like I keep saying, like, there's like a million stitches on the needle, blah, blah, blah. There's like over, there's like 450 stitches on that needle. So, yeah, it's like a million. It's like the same as a million. So, that was one of my whips. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There it is. Never mind. Oh, I'm like, did you lose a sleeve? I did lose a sleeve. Because it's going to take you a whole five uh, minutes to knit another one. I'm probably <laughs> in the same area I was last week. So That's all right. I, worked on it I was week. with the unicorn, too. Yeah. Um, this week this week was, like, busy. This week was busy. Oh. Yes. I, I, I wish that I had gotten more knitting done, but I didn't. Look at so, the layers. I hate it. Oh, my gosh. 
I need my hair to grow now. It's time for it to grow out. You know, like I, Jamie was saying, like when you get your hair cut, it's like the first couple of days, you're like, oh my god, what happened? Yeah, and then, and then like, it starts to like yeah, grow into it itself. Into it. Yeah, it's not even like doing what it's supposed to. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Whatever. I think it looks nice. I'm gonna harp yeah. on it. So this is Outlet by Kate Davies. Um, I actually need to get this done by Tuesday night. So I will Today's be Sunday. working up a storm. Uh, it'll go quick. This went quick. It's just I haven't worked on it all week. I have one sleeve so you have that'll to, get added on. Do you have to give it to her before the next podcast? Yeah, I'll take uh, a we'll picture. I'll take a nice of picture of it. Let's we'll pictures. And we'll just post a picture yeah. of it. And then that's what I have with the second sleeve. So I'll probably work on this one tonight. Have it done tonight because it's really fast. It's and like then that just day. Monday I'll work on this and yeah. it'll be done. But we'll have pictures for you guys because um, it is a gift for somebody. Yeah, but. It's a gift. I really want to see the owls, like, so bad yeah, I on know. It. It's the last thing that yeah, gets done. So. I know. And so that is um, Burnett. Burnett Softy Baby, I think. No, it's Baby softy. Chunky. Chunky Baby. Burnett Softy Baby. Chunky. Yeah, it's Burnett, Chunky. Chunky Softy Baby. Yeah, 100% acrylic. I do have another squeak. Jamie's saying that she's really, really enjoying the squeaking oh, of the needles. Oh, yeah. It's so plasticky, crunchy. Yeah, mine. <laughs> Nothing against acrylics. Like, there are some I like. It's, this is not one of them. Ooh. And you're knitting with it. Yeah. I mean, it's soft enough, I guess. But For it's a baby. Just, um, you get spoiled, I guess, knitting with the natural fibers. You do! And, you get so spoiled! Yeah. Um, <laughs> really a bit spoiled. <laughs> thank you, by the way, for everybody who commented on our last video saying that... Yeah, um, they were giving suggestions for other acrylics. Yeah. My and, friend picked that out, though. Yeah. I didn't pick that out. <laughs> um, but last week we were asking if you, um, if anybody knits for babies and you pre-wash before you give it to them. Um, and a oh, couple yeah, of people, a said, people said yes. Said yes. Um, and I, same, for same reasons, like I have animals or, you know. I have no animals. And then somebody said yes because it just softens it up. Yeah. Which, which would be my thing, like really. With the acrylics, yeah. With Usually the acrylics. when you wash it, it does soften, yeah. it, soften it up. So thank little. you for answering our questions, you guys, because we read them. We um, do, yeah. I think, like, like we said, this week kind of got away from us. There was a lot of stuff going on, um, with me at home, you know, with the dying and everything. Um, we were getting adjusted to the school schedule. Again. Yeah, getting adjusted to school. <laughs> you're right. So, um, normally we do respond to, or we try to respond to every single, um, comment, uh, that you guys have for us. And this week kind of got away and noticed that we didn't do that. So, um, but we are reading them, you guys. So keep commenting. We enjoy reading them. We enjoy responding to them um, when we can and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to go into a, uh, like a follow up, a following the same um, conversation that Legacy Knits was having. Um, it's it's true. If if we we don't, we're not getting obviously like a flood of crazy like conversations with people, which is fine. Um, but if we're not responding to every single one, please understand that um, we do try. Yeah. We really, really do and try, we and we do value um, your suggestions, your opinions, anything that you guys are saying. Instagram. I mean, there's so many social media platforms where we can converse with you, our Strings and More Ravelry group. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to get to every single one of them mm -hmm. all the time. Oh, and I've had uh, a but we do try to friend me on Facebook too. That's only family. Yeah. Face I, I'm sorry. I keep that very private. Yeah. Um, even though I only post stupid things on there, like all those stupid You know what? Little Jamie's memes. kids, um, are on they're her all Facebook. Over, yeah. So, they're all over um, it. not that, you know, I say their names, you know, I like Anna has modeled something right. on my Instagram. Right. Right. And but you guys, you know, that still. we're on Long Island and everything else. I mean, it, there's a point where um, it's personal. Sometimes you just want to, sometimes you just want it to be personal. You don't know anybody an explanation for um, that. I've said this before, too. Yeah. I'll probably make a, a Leslie Jean account yeah. for Facebook, and then yeah. I'll join all the yarn groups there. And yeah. anyone who wants to be my friend can. So, <laughs> yeah. So, please, um, we appreciate your patience with us getting back to you guys and stuff like that. Um, so, thank you. So, thank you. Thank you for... Talking to us. We're reading them. We are. Yep. All right, we need to take a little break. Cause I really need to oh, break. Jamie looks like she's got a pee, -pee. <laughs> I got a pee, pee Okay, cool. I talked pee -pee. about Speckle Tonic. You talked about your whip. My other whip is... Um, see, again, I didn't even work on it. My other whip is just the... Um, what is my other whip? What is this? Exploration Station by uh, Stephen West. I didn't, I didn't touch it. But I'm gonna show it anyway. It's gonna be awesome when it's done, though. Well, I want it to be done. Like, what is going on with me? 
this is my uh, exploration station so far. You've got a lot of whips. I've got a lot of whips. And they're all huge. This is what I was saying the last time. They're all enormous. And I started them all around the same time. So it's Mm -hmm. like... It's just gonna. I mean, I I, want, I need a whip next week. Or an FO. <laughs> yeah, an FO. So normally we podcast on Saturdays, and what happens is I come over early. We uh, say we're gonna podcast, and then we don't. <laughs> we eat, we talk, we do whatever, and then we podcast. And then we stay really late, and then everybody comes over, and we have like a game night. <laughs> um, but yesterday, uh, Jamie had a. I had a bridal shower to go to. Bridal shower, and uh, like twelve o'clock, right? Yeah, it was so 12, it was like, and we were there until, like, 3. Yeah. So um, it was, like, right smack in the middle yeah. of, like, a comfortable time to do the podcast, which, I mean, technically I could have come over really, really early, but then we would have been rushing through yeah, it. Yeah, it would have been... It, like, I like doing it when there's... We don't have anything to do afterwards. Like, there's yeah, just... We could take our time. Yeah. And not worry about anything else until after it's done. So, um, so Jamie had, um, Jamie had that bridal shower, and I was like, oh, this is great. I get my hair cut uh, by this one woman for, like, 15 years, but she's only ever at the place on Saturdays. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'll just take an appointment there, and then we'll come over, we'll podcast on Sunday instead. So that's what we did. We, yeah, except we still had our late Saturday night. We still night. had our late night. <laughs> yeah. So we were here in, I, until, like, 1.30, I think. Yeah, I was, yeah. Jamie fell asleep on the couch. Was like, and they were like, you guys have to go. And we were like, yeah, we definitely have to leave. Um, so we're like... Today, yeah, I feel like, a little, like we're not our usual like bouncy like ah crazy ass selves. So that's why we're doing it on Sunday instead. Yeah, of Sunday. I mean we don't have hangovers or anything. No, I didn't drink. We didn't drink either. We're just old. Yeah, we're <laughs> getting old, and like we just can't handle like late nights anymore. I'm so like I'm like I'm so glad I don't have a full time job that I have to be at on Sundays yeah. now because I'm like ew I had to go to work like this. I'm so spoiled now. I used to have to work on Sundays too when I worked. I mean, not that I'm dying stuff. <laughs> Everything's in the pots at home right now, cooling off. But I got up early today to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. Anyway, Exploration Station by Stephen West. Um, I, like I said, I haven't touched it since last week. But I've got some crazy colors. They're all mine, except for the hot pink. The hot pink is Knit Picks palette. Um, so I have um, lamb strings. So all sock yarn, uh, two different bases. I have um, my Glow Getter colorway is this crazy bright uh, neon, like insane greenish highlighter color, um, and the gray. Uh, the gray is Mystic. Those are both um, Lamb Strings Tralala Sock, which is a Superwash Merino and Nylon Blend, and the black and this interesting uh, variegated purple are both the Utopia Sock, which is 100% uh, Superwash Merino wool. And that is the Black Cat colorway and Annabelle Lee, which is part of my Poe collection, both of them. And it's going to be crazy. So this pink, this pink, I feel like up here, this pink is very thick, I feel like. I wanted it, like, not so thick. Mm-hmm. So, but I think, like, uh, the wedges get thicker and thicker, so they'll, that pink will be spaced apart, so yeah. it won't look so bad. But I love to put that there's like a brioche um, wedge and then there's there's like another like textured stitch wedge in there that's double color. So I want to throw that pink in somewhere down there. Because I like it, mm-hmm. but I want that pink to be like somewhere. Like out of nowhere. So um, that's my plan. It's coming out good though. Thanks. It's going to be big. And I'm going to get down there to that part and I'm going to be like, I want it off my needles. That's always what happens. I enjoy, like, I don't want you guys to think that I, like, I don't enjoy knitting shawls. Like, I love knitting shawls. They're one of my favorite things to knit. But I do, you do get to that, I get every single one of them gets to that point where I'm like, okay, done? Are we done yet? I want this to be done. And then, and then I make it sound like it's not a good knit. <laughs> and I don't mean it. Because once it's done, I'm like, I'm so glad that I did this. Ah. I'm going to do another one, which I am. I'm going to do another one. I brought yarn with me to tell you guys that I was going to do another one. Why don't you talk about that now? Because I have a problem with shawls. <laughs> I don't even know what bag it's in. It's in this bag. My Mrs. Brown's bag. Mrs. Brown's. From Jamie's mom. <laughs> uh, those bags that I showed you earlier. Who is such an enabler? My mom. <laughs> these three bags are all you so and so bags. You so and so.com. Make sure you go see her. September 18th, the double zip bags are coming out. And she'll be at Rhinebeck, right? And she'll be at Rhinebeck. I am buying a bag from her at Rhinebeck. I told Seth yesterday, I was like, oh, uh, just so you know, she's going to be there. And Seth was like, oh? Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy a bag, so 
I, sorry. <laughs> It's not sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, sorry. I really wasn't like, oh, I'm sorry, but it was more like, I'm just letting you know out of courtesy. Yeah. I do what I want. <laughs> I do what I want. Ooh. This I have, this is covered in animal hair. That is pretty. This has been in my apartment for a while. I think I showed this on like the second or third episode when we were talking about socks. Mm -hmm. I was saying, what should I do with this? And everybody's like, make a pair of socks. I don't want to make a pair of socks. This is Miss Babs. Um, it's Miss Babs. It's something. It is Hot Shot, the three ply fingering weight. And this is in the outstanding colorway, which I love it. I've had since Rhinebeck last year. I've had it for almost a whole year. This is gorgeous. Like insanely gorgeous. And actually it's coming out pretty good. Yeah, it right is. Right there. Um so last week I was saying that Anthony Casalina came out with a new shawl called Venti. Mm -hmm. And I'll put the picture up. Um, it's really, really pretty. So I've had this hanging out. I don't know if it's enough yards. It's only 400 yards in here. So if I have to make up for it somewhere, I will, but I really want to use this in Venti. So Venti is a crazy, like stripey, asymmetrical color. It's really, really beautiful and really interesting. Um, so I want this to be one of the colors, but it's got every color in it. So it's got like, and actually this like, there's like that burgundy chestnut, like reddish chestnut brown. And then it goes all the way into like these deep, almost black purples. Um, it's got green. It's got green, browns. it's got blue, it's off white. It's got everything in here. So the Venti shawl um, has nice, really crisp lines. And I was like, how am I gonna get nice crisp lines? with a color like this because it's got everything in it you know mm. so i thought i could get white like white fingering weight yarn and yeah. just do the contrasting color in white right yeah i don't know it was something i thought of like this morning like right before i came here i was like oh my god i should totally do like a white or like an aaron color which this is an aaron color so those lines won't be as crisp so I'm a little like, do I want to just do white? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like white is so boring. But for something like this, it might look really cool. It, yeah, like it, might it actually would work. It, probably. I don't want to do black. You know, it's like in order to get crisp no, lines, you have to have it too dark. I feel like there's. Yeah, and like this is it'll it'll compete with these nice dark purples that are in there. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Like I don't want to, I don't want to do like a like I don't want to go like yellow. Like I don't want to do a crazy color like that. I want something very clean. But will white be? Will white look stupid with this? No, I think? don't think so because it's got bits of. I'm like I have to hurry up and use it because it's been there for a year and it's starting to get fuzzy. And I really, really, really want to do venti. Although I also really, really, really want to break from shawls. <laughs> Such turmoil going on up there what do you think of that do you guys I like the tag is white so it would just look like that it would look like white with that stripes I love 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 to hear um, your guys opinions so comment because we're reading them I <laughs> promise we're reading them because we're reading them we're totally reading them um that's a that was a like uh, maybe that's next that might be next like uh, I might gift myself uh, like a <laughs> Uh, like totally crazy, like white skein of yarn for Christmas. Um, cause I need a break from the shawls. I really do. Um, and I'm doing a sweater and which we'll talk about. So do you have anything else? Um, I've got some goodies. <gasps> yeah, that's right. That's right. So, that's right. Cause I don't have anything new. Technically that was my new thing. So all right. my mom, the yarn enabler, <laughs> she got me more Quince and Co. J so I could make, um, fingerless middies to go along with my hat. Yeah. <laughs> so I will be working on that. Yes. Uh, you're going to be working on writing color. a pattern. Writing a pattern. To match the buttermellow hat. Yes. I love that color so much. I do too. This is J. J and yeah. owl tweet. That's this one. So fingerless mitts to match this would be... It's such a beautiful tweed. Like, I love the Quince and Co. A it's, similar... Uh, it was going to be like almost the same... Um, 
pattern, right? Yeah. Almost. I'm just going to translate it onto yeah. the sides. Yeah, but I'm curious to see what you're going to do with it. I want this color so bad. It would make a nice sweater. So there's a, oh, what the heck really is the nice. sweater called? Jolie or Jolin or something like that. Um, I just looked it up and I didn't write it down because I didn't plan on talking about it, but it's like a long, flowy, like open cardigan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And they are using Owl, Quincinco Owl, to make it. And when I was looking at it, I was like, really? I feel like Owl's so thick for that and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I do like this color. <laughs> the Owl tweet. I have to stop. No, you don't. I... <laughs> so she got me that so I could do that. Good. And then... She also got me. This was um, last week when you were watching. This is what shipped last week. This Jamie was shipped. like, "It shipped." While we were podcasting, Jamie got the notification that it shipped. <gasps> no way! Stop. In the serious colorway. Okay. Serious from Harry Potter. <laughs> For serious. Oh, so I love this color. And she gives you a little um, Deathly Hallow stitch marker. Oh, that's really cool. So, that's really cool. I love that. This to color. go along with her Harry Potter yarn colorways. This color, you guys, is amazing. I love like, it so much. Okay. It's got... You, you can, have to order everything from It's hard to see her. on here, but it's got navy blue. You could kind of see the blue popping through. Like a really dark navy blue yeah. along with black stripes. Can you... Ooh. You oh. can kind of see a difference in there. You need to just buy it <laughs> and see it. Like here. She's got so many I like. It was so hard picking Holy just one. Like, All right, she has like, so many, like, with greens, and I love green, and, like, her Bellatrix colorway is beautiful. She's got Voldemort, which is awesome. Potion, Potion Master colorway is awesome. Twisty Sock, it's called. It's 80% Superwash Merino and 20% Nylon. Do you have to order from her? Like, uh, do you have to custom order from her? It's all made I to order? All, um... I think she does shop updates every once in a while where you could get it straight from Okay, I need to do that. Her, but most of the time, I'm really um, weird it's about tied to order. order. I'm weird about custom orders because, like, I want it now, you know? And, like, well, so yeah, many this, people custom order this, from me, and I try really hard to get it. Like, all of my processing time for custom orders are two to three weeks. And right now, because I'm getting ready for a fair in less than a month, which I'm like, am I going to be ready for this fair? Um, right now, two to three weeks is... is pretty accurate but normally i'm done dying it within one week and i'm ship i'm shipping it out to you but that two to three weeks is like She's a suggestion too. um i have to get some uh i have to get some candy for shipping october yeah during the month of october um when you order yarn for me you will also receive halloween candy Halloween because it's halloween um but yeah we ordered this in july yeah, you did. So you did. I. But she did say um, there was something with the month of August where she, it was longer. Like normally, I think it's kind of. I'm gonna look it three up. Three right weekish, three weeks, kind of. But this was more like five, six and weeks. This, but there was a reason. She said. Yeah. She said in um, on her website or on her Etsy or whatever. Yeah. There was a reason why it would take longer. But I was okay with waiting. What was the the other one was Bellatrix, right? I'm gonna look it up right now. Bellatrix. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna be rude. But she has so many colorways. She does the stripes, like all of her yarns are stripes like this, and it's insane how they do this. Like it must take so. It much makes time. me want to knit socks, and I don't knit socks. I'm gonna make some socks out of this. I, think I just do... bought four pairs of socks from Target. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do Mrs. Weasley's everyday socks. It's a Harry Potter theme. I'm gonna put it in my Harry Potter bag. Hell's yes. Um, it's Harry Potter theme, like named yarn. Um, I'll use and her little gorgeous. the little stitch marker right there. So I have to do a Harry Potter um, themed sock pattern. Okay, nomadic yarns. There it is. Oh my god. She has so many. It's insane how many colorways and they're beautiful. Like look In at sock self-striping. It's not much, it's, right? No. Well, it's like three things. Yeah, it's not. But she does she ones. does have um updates Oops. where she does put like I think she had one a little earlier, yeah, um, where she had like a bunch of Halloween her. ones. <gasps> Ooh, Lupin. I like that one. 
Lupin's good. Oh, yeah, Lupin's good. Like, and her McGonagall one. Like, so many are so nice, and I just wanted them all, and I couldn't... Okay, but this is... I've seen all of them, (laughs) and I'm acting like I've never seen them before. That's how beautiful they are. I want this one. Bellatrix. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to start knitting with it. I feel like the socks are going to fly because it's a stripe. And yeah. when the color changes, I'm going to be like, yay! Also, <laughs> um, she has like those um, little knit bags, like those like cube ones. Yeah, she has little cube bags. Um, I tried to knit a cube bag and I broke my needle. <laughs> Not knit, so. So. My needle broke. You broke your needle broke? Yeah. I have extras. I have oh, shit. I want Bellatrix. Yeah, Bellatrix is awesome. If I get Bellatrix, I'll knit a pair of socks. Maybe. Uh, go Nomadic go to yarn. her shop. You have to check her out yeah. if you haven't before. Because yeah. loveliness. Beautiful. And what I find really interesting, and like especially with the hand-dyed yarns, um, there's no... I'm not... like From here, there's no point in the yarn where there's any loss of color, which is really hard to get. So when you find a hand-dyed yarn that has that, keep buying from them because that's really hard to do. To get a saturated color in every single bit of the yarn. Like, I immersion and I dye. love how she rolls them up like this. Like, yeah. this is how it comes. Yeah. It doesn't come in a skein. It comes in a ball like this. Which and is extra work, crazy. you guys. Yeah. Like, it that's is. extra it's work. It's totally worth it, her yarn. Like, yeah. she puts I'm so much some. effort into it. I'm buying some. It's so pretty. Damn it, Jamie. Wait. Ha. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm buying more yarn now. I love it. This is my old one that I recycled. Uh, I'm going to make the time to read knits when I'm done with mine, but they're not going to be part of our middle long. This is my MCN sock in the Oracle colorway. Sorry. It's, it's pretty. Way. But I want that. You going to make some socks. I'm going to make some something. I'm going to make something. It probably won't be socks. Um... So, what's next for you? Besides, well, that's the socks. You're going to do that? That's what's yeah. next. Yeah, probably the socks. I'm going to finish a few things first. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Jamie, unicorn will be done by next week. The sweater will be done by Tuesday. Yeah. Um, then I have to work on our mitt, our next mitt. Um, Jamie and I decided that we were going to do cardigans soon. Because mm-hmm. I want to do a cardigan with you. Yes. Yeah, yeah and you... Cardigans. I've got the yarn for the Linny cardigan. The Linny cardigan was going to be... It's right here. Oh, Jamie's got it on her side, sorry. If I can reach it. Yeah. In Nimbus. Yep. Nimbus so Gray. Nimbus Gray. Yeah. Malabrigo Rios. So Jamie's going to do the Linny card again, and I forget who that's by. Me too. Uh, but I will put it up on the screen. Um, and I am still waiting for my yarn for Stonewall by Alicia Plummer, so I'm going to do that. That's going to be my... my pull over my winter my winter pullover this year um but as far as cardigans go i decided i was going to do the graystone cardigan by sarah cook and i'm going to do it in my yarn because i feel like i just haven't dyed enough this week but you know what i did really good this week i've been dying like crazy i'm getting ready for a lot of stuff i think i could dye myself some sweater yarn yeah. Um, I haven't done that for myself in like over a year, a sweater quantity. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be, it's going to be good. So I'm going to do some color work. It's, You're gonna. it's true. <laughs> it's going to happen. So that is what's coming up for us. How long have we been on here? Oof, oof. Okay. Well, that's okay. We are, st- I'm really excited about Rhinebeck. Super excited. Yeah. We, we, I feel like we talk about this at the end of it. I don't episode. care. If it's your first time watching, yeah. then do that. We're going to Rhinebeck together this year. We are super, super psyched about it. We already um, know some places we're hitting up. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, is Susan B. Anderson going to be there? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I want to sock blank. Like, they look interesting. I want yeah. someone's sock blank. Someone's going to have sock yeah. blanks there. Everybody's going to sock blank. sock blank. I feel like sock blanks got huge. Like, Andre yeah, Sunit's. Like, um, um, she did, she did them, and I think she, like, really started, like, she the does trend like pictures, for them. Which, I like the pictured ones a lot. Yeah. But I've also seen a few people, they just do crazy colors all yeah. over, and I like some of those, too. Yeah, so. the speckled ones. I'll see what's there, like and I'm gonna, I, I want a bag from you, so-and-so, and I want a sock blank. Yeah. I wonder if, um, there's a list of vendors ready 
on... Probably. Um, it's coming up soon. Yeah, you so. could probably do... You, we could probably just look at it. It's Dutchess yeah. County Fairgrounds um, in upstate New York, which at that time of year is beautiful. Last year, my mother... I went with my mother and we drove. And um, we spent the night because my mom can't do that much driving in one day. It's like too much. It's a lot. It's like two and a half hours if you hit... If you don't hit traffic, it's like two and a half hours. Um, but... On the way home last year, it started to snow. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. It was cool. We were like up I in the mountains. Wait. I can't wait. It for was the first beautiful. Snow I hate snow. I like it. <laughs> but for like the beginning of October, we were like, holy crap, it's snowing. It, all the leaves were like yellow and like orange. We were up in the mountains. Oh, it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, yeah. That might be it. Yep, I think we're done. I think we're done too. We've been. I, I, you guys aren't going to get this, but it was like an hour and a half already of us just talking about nonsense. <laughs> yeah. So next week, next week, I think if we have our FOs and stuff like that, next week we won't be as tired. No, <laughs> we're, we're like, going to be doing it. Like, yeah, I we're burnt out. Yeah. So I feel like I wish we were more uppity, but that's okay. Sorry. Next week. Yeah. Next week we will be. We won't be falling asleep while podcasting. I know. I know. We didn't even, like, we wore, like, uh, like kids' t-shirts. Yeah. Like, we really, then. like, dropped the ball on, like, our, uh, like, usually I'm like, oh, yeah, so my nice, like, tank top, and, like, I wear, like, a nice necklace and everything. No. no. I bought Jamie that shirt. She did. I did. And I was like, oh, my God, dinosaur bones, and I bought her the Hocus, Hocus Pocus, Pocus DVD. So, um... Oh, Caleb is very excited this morning. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, this is my, um... These are both from, uh, Target's, uh, kids' department. Cool cats don't look back. Yeah, with a snarly cat. Dinosaurs. I know. I know. Dinosaurs. I really, I'm like, I, like, love Target. We were there. I go to our regular, I go to my regular department. And I look for, like, you know, nice sweaters and things like that because it's fall. And then I always hit the little boys' department, like, right before, like, right after. I'm like, okay, what do they have? And I saw this, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, Jamie! <laughs> Jamie loves dinosaur bones! I love dinosaur yeah. bones. So I wore Jamie's shirt, and then I found Hocus Pocus, like, sitting on a shelf, like, like, somebody was like, oh, I don't, I don't want this, and they just put it down in a random spot, and I found it there, and I was like, Which is Holy awesome, crap. because I've been looking yeah. for it, and I haven't found it in the store. Well, so when she came in with that, I was like, oh, yeah, so You know, Jamie's like, oh, I want to do, like, the legacy, and it's something with the legacy, and it's like, Hocus Pocus, or whatever, like, but that movie is like, it's, you well, I was going to order it, it I was going to order it on Amazon, but then yeah. this week with Back to School and stuff, I just didn't think of it. Yeah. And then you came with that. I, I saw like, it sitting I on the shelf. Order it now. And it was like a really reasonable price, so I was like, "Ah, oh, yes." And if she already ordered it, then whatever, I'll keep it where she can keep it, or we can keep it in the kids' room. I don't care. We're done. We're done. We're gonna see you guys next week. We're gonna be so much more uppity. We are. Thank you for joining us, yes, you guys. Don't forget you. to stop by our Strings and More Rivalry group and subscribe. Subscribe. We're over 400 now. We are over yeah. 400 people. So, which I kind of like owe oh, to the grocery girls a little bit because they gave us a shout out too. Yeah, so. Legacy Nits gave us a yeah, shout Legacy out. Yeah, Legacy Nits gave us a shout out. And grocery girls grocery gave us girls. a shout out. <clears throat> and I haven't really been watching like new podcasts. I feel like we're dropping the ball. I feel on, like, like I, I'm not even caught up on the ones I have been watching. Yeah, I've it's really watched. It's nothing. a weird time of year. It's a weird time of year. Like the show, everything's busy. So, it's yeah. really, really hard. So, like, I know that um, Carrie from. Um, the so what so what now, mm -hmm. right? Her podcast. She gave us a shout out. So um, oh, did she? Yeah, she did. Oh, so thank thanks, you. Carrie. So um, <laughs> hi, girls. Hi, everybody. Hi, Tracy and Jody. Thank you so much <laughs> for giving us a shout out. So yeah, we owe like our last hundred subscribers to them. I feel mm -hmm. like so. Okay. Bye. See mm -hmm. you next week, guys. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. She's in her shirts on today. Uh, we look like kids. Okay. It's okay. Whatever. You know, we always look nice, I feel like, so we're allowed. <laughs> we're allowed to have, like, uh... Speak for yourself. There have been a few a times cool, I've worn just a t-shirt. Cool like, yeah. like, I don't know. I think our t-shirts are cool. I think they're cool, too. Cool cats don't look back. And he's like... He's like... He's actually got a very pissed off face on. Because he's like, mm. It's cool cat. I blew it up.
Hello, and welcome to episode 14 of Strings and More podcast. I said that weird. I'm just... <laughs> Strings and More. Can't do the S's. <laughs> uh, now I'm all red. I'm like, hey. It's okay. okay. <laughs> oh. episode 14 already. I don't know. You know, on the one hand, I'm like, oh, it's only episode 14. You know, and then I'm like, holy crap, it's episode 14. <laughs> like, Make up your mind. Yeah.